In this video, I will finally break down in detail how Austin created me and how you can create your own AI avatar. The process will have five steps. We will generate an avatar image in mid-journey, create an AI voiceover from our written video script, animate the image of our character speaking the voiceover with AI, AI upscale our animation, and how to edit everything together for the highest quality animations inside of DaVinci Resolve. To create your avatar image with mid-journey, you need a paid subscription to use it. There are free alternatives to mid-journey if you don't have it. First, log into Discord, and then go to a channel for image creation on the Midjourney server. The first part of the prompt is where you will get creative. Explain what you want the character to look like. Age, eye color, emotion, etc. We can describe the scene we want them in. You can describe the lighting, time of day, and more. I will also add some actual professional camera settings like aperture, focal length, and even the model of a professional camera. This makes Midjourney generate more photorealistic images. The animation software we will use works best with very realistic human-like avatars. Now that we have described the character and the scene, we are going to need a specific camera angle. We want a headshot of our character looking straight into the camera. To achieve this, go back to the start of the prompt and add speaking into the camera. This will be the most important step of your mid-journey prompt, and adding those four words somewhere in the beginning of the prompt will make nearly 100% of the images come back as eye-level headshots of a character looking straight into the camera. Send the prompt to mid-journey. If you get one that is close to something you are looking for but not quite it, hit the variation button on the image to get four similar photos. If you get a character that you like but the shot is too zoomed in, use the zoom out 1.5x button until you get the distance from the character desired. Now that we have an image for our avatar, we need a script to turn to a voiceover. I personally don't use AI to write my video scripts, but for the sake of AI automation, let's use Claude 2 and feed it every one of my video's text transcripts for context as a writing style. <laughs> After creating a script for my video, I will go over to Eleven Labs to create a realistic text-to-speech voiceover that has half the people who first watch my videos asking if it's really Austin. No. AI Austin's original voice is Josh from Eleven Labs. You can sign up for a free trial that will give you an allowance of characters to use per month. Once inside the voice generation tab of Eleven Labs, I want to change the voice settings from the default. The default settings work well for very consistent and predictable outputs, but will also be a lot more monotone than my preference. After playing around with the settings, I have found setting stability at 30% and clarity at 70% to produce the best quality voiceovers. One thing to note with these settings is they will be very unpredictable outputs. With these settings, I typically generate 10 examples Examples minimum to find the voiceover that sounds the best. Some of them will be laughably bad, be speaking in an awkward tone for the topic, or just sound like a completely different voice than you previously received. This will certainly make things more costly, but is the method I use to get the best quality results from Eleven Labs. Once you have the character image and voiceover audio file, we will animate them into a video of our character speaking the voiceover with realistic mouth, head, and eye movements, just like you are seeing with my animation using the AI tool called d-id.com. When I first started this channel, DID's pricing was unreasonably high. A week ago, they decreased credit rates down to a fraction of what they were. Once you finish sign up on DID, go to the Creator Studio. Inside there, we will add our avatar image. Then upload your voiceover. Once everything is uploaded, click Generate. Within a few seconds, you will have a video animation of your avatar speaking the voiceover. Now you have an AI animated avatar. But there's a few more steps you can take to maximize the quality of your videos made with Eleven Labs and DID. First of all, the video output quality. DID will give us an animation that is 720p at 25 frames per second. To combat this low resolution, I use an AI video upscaler to increase the resolution to 1440p and increase the frame rate from 25 to 60 frames per second. There are a couple subscription-based AI video upscalers online that give you free trial credits if you don't want to fork over $200 for the tool I am using called Topaz Video AI. The two alternatives I recommend looking into are TensorPix and HitPaw. If you are using Topaz, I simply import the animation I want to upscale. Change the resolution to 2x and frame rate to 60. Now click the export button and it will start running the AI models on your video clip. This will take some time, so prepare your animation upscales in batches if you are making long-form videos like me and plan to step away from the computer for a minute. Now we have solved the video quality issue from DID, but I also optimize the audio inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you do not have DaVinci installed, it is a free-to-use professional video editor that can be downloaded on their site for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Open the DaVinci app and create a new project. 
then right click in the media pool and click create new timeline. Uncheck use project settings box. Click the format tab and set the resolution to 2560 by 1440 pixels. Then change the frame rate to 60 frames per second and click create. Now drag your upscaled video animation onto the timeline. Click the music symbol icon on the bottom right to switch to the Fairlight tab. On the right side of the screen in the mixer, you will see the A1 track for our voice audio. Click the plus button for effects on that track. Hover your mouse over Dynamics, then Fairlight FX, and click Multiband Compressor. Here we will drop the Thres setting to minus 40. Crank the gain up to 12 and limit to 13.5. Now exit out of the Compressor Effect window and switch over to the Edit tab. Click the audio file for your character voice and click Normalize Audio. Select the Netflix preset. The Compressor Effect will apply to all audio clips added on this track. However, you will need to normalize the audio for each new audio file added if you are editing in multiple animation clips like my videos. Now we can export the video of our talking avatar. Let's see how it turned out. Claude 2 versus GPT-4 in 60 seconds. Claude 2 is Anthropic's new conversational AI model released in February 2023. GPT-4 is OpenAI's latest generative AI model. If you have any other questions about how my videos are made, leave a comment below and join my free public Discord server. This has been AI Austin. I will see you in the next one.